all right guys so welcome to today's video right here in today's video we will quickly progress with our one piece game right here and uh, two things i would like to deal with in today's video is a spawn box first of all and why we even need a spawn box in the first place but also i would like to work on the buttons so the buttons which allow you to navigate through the game so whether playing the game creating your character or anything else and yeah that's the plan for today's video and let's see how far we can get so first of all why do we need a spawn box let me explain what a spawn box even is so a spawn box is there to collect your player in there okay as you can see when we spawn our player is down there so i, I can jump and you can see the player okay and what the spawn what the spawn box will do now is that the spawn box will be somewhere outside of our view so maybe right here or maybe even down here whatsoever first of all this spawn box then will hold our player and let me show you something else so the first advantage is that the player is then out of our sight so we do not have a player right here jumping around in the scene where our camera is focused at the second thing is that as you can see the camera currently is focused but what happens when i jump down right here and then my character dies wait am i able to fall fall through yeah as you can see I, i've just fell through I, i've just died let's see what happens then when i respawn okay okay I, I seem to respawn down there okay so that is no problem then oh yeah never mind then so we only have one advantage then and that's why we need the spawn box in the first place so let's take this spawn right here and let's create a box so you take the spawn make sure that it is anchored and can collide is true and then you would like to create a part and make sure that the part right here is anchored as well as well and can collide is true on this one as well And then you just want to create parts around this one so that the player is not able to walk a, walk outside of this box. And that's it. That's it, guys. As you can see, our player now is some yeah is, is in here. So somewhere on this right side. And we cannot do anything to get out of there. Okay. That is the first thing. Now, the second thing is about the buttons. And I'm going to be covering them up in the next episode, which will probably be tomorrow. But I'm not sure about that yet, but we'll see. So, let's create a screen GUI inside of our starter GUI. And this one will hold a frame, okay? And what should happen is that we want this frame to appear once we have focus on the scene right here so let's give this a size so maybe something like this something like that okay and then we want to add a bunch of image buttons and why image buttons because well actually i don't I don't want to tell you yet. I'm just I'm going to show you why in the next episode, guys. So, I'm going to be Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So, I'm going to be cloning a bunch of image buttons right here, so in this frame then, and then we are going to edit these image buttons. I'm going to show you what you can do with them. So, I'm going to Give you some ideas on what kind of images you can use in there and then how you can edit your text so that it actually looks cool but we're gonna do that in the next video guys so this was just <laughs> a quick filler video to be honest but we'll deal with the real stuff in the next episode guys just just know that i'm not abandoning the series right here and the series has just started okay that being said guys see you tomorrow